Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 1st of March. Wow, the beginning of meteorological spring, the beginning of the spring tornado season. Uh, it's the wildest month of the year, but today March is coming in like a lamb. Now, let's go to some of the sky cam shots around the network this morning. The storms of yesterday are long gone. That's the uh, Birmingham sky cam looking north into the... Uh, Concrete jungle, it's clear and cold. There's our Gadsden sky cam. Again, the sky is clear there. And up in northwest Alabama, look at downtown Haleyville up in Winston County. The uh, trough that brought the severe weather yesterday is on the way out. In the wake of that, we have cool, dry, stable air this morning. Temperatures as cold as 33 in Haleyville where you saw that sky cam shot. Uh, Coleman sitting at 37, mostly low in mid-40s around here. Birmingham sitting at 43, Tuscaloosa 45. But we check the weather from around the uh, nation, the temperatures. And uh, again, it's pretty chilly. Uh, really, you have to go down to Florida to find that warm air we had yesterday. By the way, Tuscaloosa hit 83 yesterday. Wow. Uh, it's warm over the Florida Peninsula, but again, around the nation, it's pretty cold. Up in the core of the cold air over uh, uh, Saskatchewan, it's... Uh, 14 degrees below zero. Pretty cold. But yes, yesterday we clearly had a severe weather day across our state. I thought we'd pull up the uh, storm reports from yesterday. And of course, had a bunch. Uh, looks like uh, six reports of tornadoes, uh, some over in the Carolinas late last night. Of course, the, uh, the one that was so tragic was the one in Tullahoma, Tennessee. One person was killed there just across the Alabama state line. 154 reports of uh, wind damage and 24 reports of large hail. A lot of that coming in the Birmingham metro had golf ball-sized hail. And around uh, our state, some of the most significant damage came up in uh, uh, parts of North Alabama, pretty good damage north of Gadsden up on uh, Lookout Mountain last night. But again, all that's over. There's our watch warning map today. Not a lot happening, just a few issues up north with winter weather advisories. QPF chart for the next five days. Uh, this is valid through uh, Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. Look at that 2.2-inch bullseye near Memphis. And uh, that's with this weekend system that will be the next one to deal with. And let's get in there and take a look. This is the 06 GFS at noon today. Nice, dry northwest flow aloft. It'll be a sunny day. Both the NAM and the GFS are showing 63 for the high today. Tomorrow, we'll start the day around 40, wind up around 70. Beautiful. Love it. Low humidity. Thursday looks good. Uh, the daytime high in the low 70s. Now, Friday, moisture begins to come back. There's no big, big trigger, so uh, just a few scattered showers around. Uh, nothing to really seriously interrupt the day. And we should be probably in the low 70s with a good south wind. All right, here's our weekend system. This is the GFS version. This is the uh, trough lifting out, and down below that, a surface low, 1,000 millibar low, is located uh, around Chicago with the trailing front. And this run is slower. It's got the main uh, squall line over Little Rock and Shreveport there at noon. We'll go to Saturday night at midnight. That surface low uh, creeps north, and the squall line enters northwest Alabama. And then by Sunday at noon, uh, it's exiting the state. So this is really suggesting the main action with this thing could be Saturday night. We'll check the uh, European version. This is Saturday at noon. Now, it's looking different. It's got the surface low instead of at Chicago. It's at Little Rock, 1,004 millibars. And that is more of a severe weather look. We'll go to Saturday night at uh, midnight. The surface low deepens to 998 millibars at Indianapolis, and that's when severe weather could be a problem. And then on uh, Sunday, it's all gone. And the Europeans done pretty well lately, so again, uh, we'll mention the chance of a storm Saturday afternoon. It looks more and more like it might be Saturday night when we have the biggest chance of strong to severe storms. And by Sunday, it's gone. Of course, we'll fine-tune that in coming days. Monday of next week, dry, nothing too cold. Uh, the, the GFS shows 37 Monday morning, and again, looks like still no widespread freeze there. And there's Tuesday. Things look quiet a week from today. We've got there uh, five more days on the 13th of March. Look at the ridge nosing in from the Gulf again. 
The shortwave action is suppressed up to the north. That's suggesting a chance of showers, but nothing really of a classic severe weather look. And on the 16th, yeah, man, that old Gulf Ridge is really starting to flex its muscle. 588 bubble near a Key West in Fort Myers. Shortwave action way up north. So, again, no sign of any really super late-season cold air outbreak through mid-month. And there's the North Atlantic Oscillation, the bottom chart. It stays neutral to positive. And, again, it can be cold with that, but it's just harder for that to happen. But, uh, hey, you know that late-season freeze is coming. Just don't know when. We don't see any, any evidence of it here for the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We will have notes on the blog. Uh, if you're local to us, don't forget to watch us on TV tonight, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.